What's up everyone, it's me Toadsters here and welcome to a Clash of Clans War Highlight. This was the war against the Abusement Park versus Infinity War. It happened like two days ago, I think. And we ended up coming out on top 13 to 11. And I'm going to be re replaying three attacks, two of them which are attacks against the enemy team, one of them is a defense. So let's start off with number three right here, which is Jose attacking their number three. So right here, I'm going to zoom out just a little bit. And it looks like he's using Lava Loon. Pretty good attack. He's going to draw out the clan castle, which did not seem to have anything. I'm pretty sure that did go in. I guess we'll speed it up just a little bit until he places something. All right, so he was going in. There's no troops in the clan castle. Interesting. He has both Lava Hounds down. Spreading out using rages instead of haste. I've noticed the lava loon meta has kind of changed from rage to haste, from haste to rage, just to get the extra damage buff. Although haste, a max haste, does make it go faster than a max rage. It seems like it's easier just to go with the rage, even though it uses two spell slots instead of one. So he's did a pretty good job taking out that core of the base. The clan castle is actually almost dead if we go ahead and look at it. Or not the clan castle. The clan castle too. We have a few Lava Pups taking down the King and Clan Castle, which will move on to the Town Hall soon. This balloon right here takes out one of the last tenses. Looks like we only have about two Archer Towers left, but there's two balloons going for it. Both balloons appear to die. Yes, unless that one. That one is on full health. The Barbarian King and the Archer Queen actually go down to take out those two remaining Archer Towers. He spams all of the minions down as well. Lava Pups going ahead and taking out that town hall while all of, just all of the Lava Pups actually are just going ham on this base. That's crazy. Pops the King ability right there. Which isn't really necessary, but I mean, I guess it just makes the King go faster to save those precious seconds. So right about now, the Archer Queen's going to be attacked by the last Archer Tower, but it shouldn't do too much because he has that Queen ability. He's probably going to pop here any second now. Yup, indeed, there we go. It's going to start... Make the Archer Tower retarget just enough time to take it out, which just leaves the bottom of the base after the king cleaned up the top. We have everyone going on to lock onto that Dark Elixir storage, and there we go. A perfect three-star by Jose. Good job. Alright, and going on to number two is a defense by Jose. So, the enemy only got 77% and just a one-star in the space. So looks like they're using... I'm going to say it's Goeva, Golems, Wizards, Valkyries, and looks like he has Pekkas too, that's kind of cool. Just for some reason decides to spam Earthquake spells. Alright, we got the CC going out, two Wizards, two Archers, and a Dragon. It looks like a little Skeleton Trap actually got set, if you can see those Skeletons right about there, going to take out that Barbarian, which they do very nicely. Looks like he's luring the CC troops over to the corner. And for some reason uses his heroes to take them out. That's gonna leave his king almost dead. Yep, dead. There goes his king. That's probably where he went wrong right there. Good job with the CC troops. Alright. Going in. He doesn't really have time to funnel those golems too well. I'm not I wouldn't be surprised if these wizards just go all the way around the center of the base. Yep, they do. Queen's going in, I think. Queen's probably going in. The Pekkas even go around. That's unfortunate. It looks like everyone's going to be going in kind of through this part of the base right about here, which they do. First Rage spell goes off, and the P.E.K.K.A.s kind of just don't do anything. I've noticed that that happens with P.E.K.K.A.s a lot. And yeah, everyone kind of just went around the center of the base, which is kind of a problem. I mean, we have that one Golem and that one P.E.K.K.A., but I don't think it's going to be quite enough to take out that Town Hall, which it wasn't. I see the heal spell. Yeah, heal spell going over here. Those wizards are actually doing good work. There goes the 50%. And now all of those Teslas are in range of that clan, or the town hall, like you saying, clan castle. So that P.E.K.K.A. is just going to get melted like it is right now. And the queen dies right about there. And over on this side, it's just a couple wizards, one Valk, which just died, and a P.E.K.K.A. So now it's just that golem, but that golem isn't going to do anything, so it's just really this P.E.K.K.A. that's left take out the damage. Looks like there's the 74%. He's going to start slapping the wall for some reason. That Tesla's going to go down, which I think is 76. Maybe 75. Tesla goes down now. Yep, so looks like this P.E.K.K.A. does get the clutch on that 
Dark Elixir Drill, and the Golem dies. Does the Golem actually get to take out the Archer Tower? Yes, it does. Alright, so that is it. That is the 77% on the base right there. Good job defending Jose. Nice base. And all right, moving on to our number one highlight of this war is going to be over here. Number two, Carlos. Now, War Emperor is our number three. And he three-starred their number two, which is a very good, amazing job. Looks like he's using Lava Loon as well, this time with a baby dragon. Four rages, a poison, and a heal. Once again, no CC troops. Very interesting. They must have maybe some barbarians or something in there, I would assume. Or a P.E.K.K.A. Probably a P.E.K.K.A. And these air units are going to trigger the P.E.K.K.A. So he starts off pretty aggressive by putting his loons down a little early. Looks like that Archer Tower locked onto those loons by mistake. Shouldn't be too hard though, as the Archer Tower just got destroyed. Two of the four rages get dropped off to start. That hound's going to explode. Those two hounds are going to go really soon too. But man, he is just wreaking havoc on this base with this awesome job. It must be those level 2 lava hounds, and the one in the CC is probably high level as well. He's going to easily take out this core center part of this base right about now. All of those moons will die right on top of those Teslas, which will be plenty to take him out. And with really just this Archer Tower left as the only defense... It's definitely going to get taken down by those loons. All he really has to worry about is the Archer Queen over there, but... I mean, he has his full health queen right there, and his king is still alive with the ability, so he's probably going to use that soon. Archer Queen somehow sees the... Oh! The heroes? I thought he was going to see the pups for sure, but I guess not. Archer Queen locks on the other Archer Queen, takes him out really easily. Pups and that one minion definitely take out that town hall while the loons and heroes clean up the rest of the base. We have that one baby dragon right there. King ability goes off. Does he ever even use the queen ability? Does not appear he does. Alright, oh, looks like there's one more building. There's the queen ability going off, probably just to recover health on this queen. And there we go. Oh, I hear a bomb. Big bomb going off. Alright. And there we go. There's the 100%. So, alright, that is... That's the top three highlights of this war. If you guys want to see more war highlights in the future, be sure to leave a like down below. I'll do more of these. And yeah, thank you all so much for watching this, and I'll see you all later. Peace out.